to determine a sample size and calculate the number of participant or uh, individual that you want to recruit to your study uh, one of the software that are available online statistical software is called g power and that's the software to uh, calculate the sample size required this software is easy straightforward and simple to use you can download that from the website online and it's easy to download and install once you have installed the software then you could use it to determine how many participants you should recruit to your study whether you are a scientist or an undergraduate or a phd student or a researcher who are interested in finding out how many participant should i include in the study uh, i.e determining the sample size or whether you want to write a grant proposal and you want to determine how many individual to um, recruit to the research then this software will assist in calculating the sample size to use this software you have to have a prefixed information and determined determined prior to starting using the software you have to have a clear first of all the first criteria for using the power this uh, software is to have a clear hypothesis for the research or the project and your goals has to be clear once you had a clear hypothesis then you need to have a, a clear uh, vision and what how or how many uh, groups do you have do you intend to uh, organize your data based on that then you will be able to uh, use whether a parametric test or a non-parametric test here we're going to show you how to use the software to calculate the sample size when you want to use a t-test whether it is a paired or unpaired uh, statistical analysis whether your data are paired or unpaired so this test is a parametric test that can be used for finding the differences between two groups when the data on in those groups are normally distributed so here i have downloaded a copy of the software and it is installed on the hard drive here and the one i'm going to use is g power 3.1.9.7 the software comes with a predetermined type of test uh, if we click on the test here and you will see different variable test that can be used to determine the um, sample size so you can determine the sample size based on the test you would like to use so if you are going to use correlation for uh, pivariate uh, correlation using Pearson um, correlation or you can use the software to determine the sample size if you intend to do simple linear regression multiple linear regression or logistic regression you can even use the software to calculate the sample size if you are going to do uh, an unparametric test or a parametric test such as t-test whether uh, it is matched uh, groups or uh, two independent groups you can also use the software for the sample sized for using an, a statistical analysis such as ANOVA, ANCOVA, MANOVA uh, you could also use the software for uh, a Fisher exact test to determine sample size for variances and for generics such as uh, F and T and chi square if you look here on the left hand side in the test family there are different options to select from which test you want to go for and to use whether you want to have an exact ft f test 
and if you click on F-test, you will find out the uh, statistical test that can be used ANOVA and MANCOVA and uh, linear regression and so on. For T-test also, there are certain statistical tests such as uh, means, uh, differences between means, T-test, uh, paired and unpaired, and for also chi-square, there are different statistical tests. For the purpose of this uh, demonstration, I'm going to stick to the t-test since we are going to uh, uh, find and calculate the sample size needed for uh, a research when we have two groups. These two groups are independent. Um, uh, and then we'll show you uh, also how to determine the size, sample size when the two groups are related or paired or matched so we're going to select t-test and then from t-test we're going to click on the statistical test that shows means with the uh, with uh, independent samples such as two groups here once you click on that there is another function here which says type of the power analysis you want to perform in this case, I'm going to go for a priori, priori, which means that you had not yet started uh, the research, you had not yet um, collected data, and you have no statistical analysis so far, but you want to calculate the sample size before you start co uh, collecting uh, the um, cases or participants. So we'll stick with the priori. We could use post hoc, post hoc when you finish um, uh, the experiment or the study and you do a statistical test, then you can use this post hoc. But for purpose of this demonstration, we're going to use priori, click on priori, priori. Now, to use uh, this software to calculate the sample size, you need to have uh, a predetermined uh, parameters in your uh, um, research study, and you have to have these parameters uh, well defined. So the software needs an input of a few parameters. The first one, either whether you want to go for one tailed or two tailed, we will select as a standard, usually go for two tailed. And then we will select also for the effect size. The effect size is the minimum difference between groups. Uh, and this effect size can be um, obtained from three different ways. The first way is to look at the literature and um, extract the effect size from a previous research that has done work similar to the research that you want or you intend to do. A second way is that if you click on this, the software will have a effect size convention already determined uh, values for small, medium, and large size. And for the sake of the t-test uh, un unmatched or uh, independent groups we're going to use the uh, medium value which is 0.5. A third way to uh, uh, find out and obtain the effect size is to uh, do a small pilot study in your research, collect a few number of uh, uh, samples for each group and uh, determine uh, the mean and or the means for the both groups and standard deviation and the software will make a calculation and will determine a uh, possible effect size to do that click on determine another window will appear and here we could insert uh, the mean for the first group let's say we started with three or four participants let's say the mean is three uh, for group one and the mean for group two is 2.5 and for standard deviation let's say it's a 3.3 and for the standard deviation for group two is 4.5 and if you click on calculate, the software will determine the effect size. 
but for today we're going to stick for the this value which is set up by the software point five another parameter you need to enter is the p value or the alpha value which is a type one error and as a standard always stick to the point oh five however you can change that and make it smaller um, um smaller another parameter is the statistical power and to calculate the statistical power you need the beta value the beta value is a type 2 error and uh, usually it is taken as 0.2 so for this power statistical power then we have to subtract the 0.2 from 1 and it will be equal to 0.8 so now we have most of the parameter inserted the last uh, one is the allocation ratio this is uh, um, op this options will allow you to choose whether you want the two group to have equal sample size equal number of participant or you want the control compared to the disease or treatment the control to have a double number compared to the disease so in this case we're going to leave the ratio for one and if we click on calculate the software will determine and calculate the sample size for each group to consider uh, and to recruit for the study that you plan and intend to do so the first group will be 64 participants the second one is 64 and in total 128 using a power actual power which is statistical power which is 0.8 is here again if you change the values here for example if you want to go for a higher value for the effect size click on calculate and you will see that the sample size goes uh, down and you need here 26 member for each group again I could stick back again to 0.5 and uh, uh, change the power into let's say uh, 95 and then click on calculate again uh, the total sample size to collect is 210 if i put this back again to 0.8 and then let's say i want the um, the control to be twice the number of the condition or the disease then cl click on calculates and it shows here that one of the groups is double the size of the other one so this is the way to uh, calculate uh, and estimate and determine the sample size for two groups uh, when using a t-test for uh, a t-test that is for uh, independent samples i.e. and pair if we want to go and to do and determine the sample size for uh, uh, data that um, and you intend to use um, statistical test which is t-test paired t-test or matched t-test or for related groups then from the t-test select here uh, the mean and then scroll and find out the uh, differences between uh, two means for um, um, matched pairs here which is two independent uh, two dependent means which match matched pairs again for this since we in, a, in this um, uh, test you only have one group and one power uh, one one um, list of uh, participant and those participant had been uh, measured twice so it is uh, same person has been subjected to uh, two different tests so you only have here one group so for the input parameter we're going to go for uh, two tailed and for the effect size we will keep it 2.5 for type 1 error we will leave it alpha for 0.05 and for the statistical power we will use 0.8 again here 
we can see we don't have an option to find the ratio between groups because we only have one group and this one group is subject to the two measurement or two treatments so if i calculate if i click on calculate again the software will um, determine the best total sample size and the number of individual to recruit to your study in this case is 34 and those 40, 34 uh, individuals will be subject into two tests the measurement will be uh, untreated and the other measurement will be treated so the same person participated twice so this is the way to find out what is the size for a sample to include in a study when you want to do a research uh, given that you know exactly what are the aims and objective of your study uh, you know how many groups you want to go for is it um, um, repeated measure one group for paired sample or two groups or more than two here we used two groups and then determining the statistical test that you want to use and you have to have also certain parameters and inputs like the whether you want to go for two tails or one tail the effect size the alpha value the uh, beta value and the statistical power